meet Kirk Evans, the director of KSE Medical, a company he started in order to utilize his background in high technology to assist Vietnam's medical sector. Here, Kirk is working on one of his many models, light or phototherapy for premature babies, complete with a sensor to monitor the baby's temperature and designed specifically for Vietnamese hospitals. If the sensor falls off the baby, as often happens in provinces or busy hospitals, the system will auto-detect, this giving the little warning sign click. This is all to be super safe and protect the baby. What sets Kurt's designs apart is the fact that they are manufactured from scratch in Vietnam. His first design, this ventilator for example, would normally cost 7,000 U.S. dollars per piece if it were imported. This is the continuous positive airway pressure machine, also known as the CPAP. And here at the National Hospital of Pediatrics, within a span of 10 years, this has been able to help many, many premature newborn babies. Um, the number of fatality rates within 24 hours of premature newborn babies 10 years ago was at 39 percent. And now that number, thanks to this machine by Kurt, has been able to drop down to 7 percent. The, the, the CPAP is, is very good. Dr. Zoom, the hospital's vice director, has overseen Kirk's work from the beginning. She really admires Kirk's dedication in finding donors to sponsor the creations, thereby providing thousands of ventilators in neonatal units in the northern and central region of the country. He is truly hardworking and selfless in this cause. I've told him a lot that you need to go settle down, find your own happiness. But he always told me, if I get married, I might get the chance to care for my own maybe two children. But now I'm getting the opportunity to care for many more children as if they were all my own. It was a visit to the same ward 14 years ago when he saw the baby so tiny yet so full of life that motivated Kirk to act. Some people, it breaks their heart, it breaks mine. But um, if you just walk away, it doesn't help the baby. So somebody has to stay here and do the work. We have little guys like this, probably about, um, we treated over 100,000 babies, and probably about maybe 100 babies every day in Vietnam on some C um, machines, CPAP, photo paper warmer that we've made. It just makes us feel good, you know. Kirk is currently devising a baby station with five component parts, including also a webcam for local doctors to communicate with central hospitals. With his creations, this engineer hopes to give an increasingly modern face to the health sector in Vietnam, but more importantly, to give these babies hope and another chance at life. Thuy Dương, VTV International, Hanoi.